Good afternoon, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. I'm here to talk about crochet but also a bit of log missing. Um, yesterday I had a, a day out to a place called Sunnybank Mills which is in Farsley, um, which is a lovely looking villagey sort of place um, it, it, that is at the in the outskirts of Leeds, which is a city in West Yorkshire. Um, I wanted to go there for a long time, mainly because I've been following um, <clears throat> a business called Unique Crafts on um, Facebook. Uh, it's a wool shop. Uh, and they have their premises there. Um, they do do um, classes at the in the workshop there. Um, now I was a little bit disappointed about the amount of wool that they had. That it, they didn't have a huge amount. I did get um, a couple of balls of scapias stone washed. Um, I'm going to use these to make a German Shepherd for my, one of my best friends, Jenny. Um, and uh, the black one, you probably already know, but they're 78% cotton, 22% acrylic. Um, and the black one is black onyx, and the beige one is boulder opal. And I think they'll be a good colourway for a German Shepherd. Uh, so, yeah, I got those, which is something I forgot to get when I was at Black Sheep Wolves on Wednesday. I also bought another Christmas pattern, which I'm hoping to do for next Christmas. It's another uh, bunting pattern, seasonal bunting, and a Serdar Happy Cotton one. But I will probably just do the heads on this one, I think, and do them as giveaways next Christmas. So, but yeah, I, I thought that were a lovely little booklet. So, uh, I, I'm getting big fan of the um, uh, Serdar ones, you know. Um, anyway, to go on about it. I did actually mention a couple of times in the filming that Sonia Bank Mills is used to uh, film, they've got a building that's got a tower that says 1912 and in that building the film uh, The Great British Sewing Bee if, you, if you've heard of it or watch it. I mean I think it's a great programme even though I haven't sewn since I was at school. I still think it's uh, you know like it's really interesting what they do. So yeah, um, you can't, well, you might be able to see in that building, but we didn't go all that way around. Uh, the, the, the ones we saw, there was the sewing shop, which also has a workshop, which they had, a, they had a, uh, some sort of class in progress yesterday. Um, the, also, there was a, a one above those, near Unique and near... Um, the sewing shop the, above there was a place called scrap which is a fantastic idea you can you know it's got basically a load of industrial waste so like there's bobbin thick empty bobbins big bobbins that you have your yarn your cotton and whatever on you can buy them and use them for things there's tubes even the things where you know like you have felt discs put on items of um you know, ornaments or furniture or whatever, what they're punched out of, you can buy that. There's just loads and loads of things that they've, they've rescued from waste. And and a, a, somebody with a lot of imagination, a crafter with a lot of imagination, I'm sure could do a lot with them. They've even got like buckets full of like zips that's, you know, brand new, but never used wherever they've got them from. Um, elastic. You know, they also have, uh, you know, like the refill tubs that you can get for like, you know, uh, detergents and uh, washing up um, shampoos, shower gels. They're all eco-friendly brands. I recognised every one of them. Um, vegan brands where, you know, they're not being tested on animals. They sold a load of Faith in Nature, which is my favourite brand of uh, soap that I use in the bath and what have you. And I also use their shampoo bars. They had the refills for the shampoo, but I, I, I don't even have a bottle for that. I use bars for shampoo um, and my conditioner and all that. It's all in bar form, so there's no actual waste. Any scraps I have left I put into a soap bag and I use as a scrub for my body, you know. So, yeah, but 
even so if you like the liquids it's the way to do it you know is to go get refills so that were a fantastic idea um we um went on to look at there were a, an artisan jeweler uh, with a workshop um ended up buying something I've, I'm, I'm just having it personalized for me so it'll be posted out to me this coming week um Pearl also bought something that came with me. She she bought something. Um, we. What else did we look? There were a lot. There were like a, an artisan gym barn and things like that. Um, yeah, they've got loads there. Absolutely loads of things. Um, they're just all small businesses, you know, like doing unique things. Um, so yeah, I, I, if you if you're able to, I'd recommend it. Um, the thing we found though, the, the mill tea rooms uh, were actually too busy. So we went in, there were a, a pizza place next door called Grumpy, so we went there for a pizza instead. Very, very nice though, loved it. So yeah, that was that. So I just wanted to mention it really, and like I said, I'll put a little bit of film on going, but apologies because I didn't take enough footage really, but hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. Right, so what have I been doing craft wise? Firstly, do you remember the kit that I got from the works, which was the fox, and it was Prima yarn, and I said this is really soft yarn, if you remember. I haven't got the picture, uh, it's, I, I mustn't have brought it through, but I did feature it, and it, it is available from the works, so you can see it. So they all felt fairly nice, but I started working it up. Oh my word, did it hurt my finger. I am it's so rough at the side of my finger so there's something about it when you even though it's soft when you start making it up I'm even seeing it in a different light now that it's done that to me it doesn't feel as soft as it did um even Nick could could see what I meant and it's really hurting me and so I'm gonna have to abandon that it, there's no way I can do that one so um yeah I did that so the other thing I've done since I, I spoke to you last is I've taken the cheeks off the reindeer that I did for the birthday collab this was the reindeer from all I want for Christmas is yarn book and I think it looks so much better without the cheeks um, I appreciate that some people like them but you know personally they work for me um, the second thing I did there was a, a someone who watches the channel um, it's just called Joanne so she suggested, do you remember I did the, made the star from that book, the All I Want is, for Christmas is Yarn. I made the, the one side of the star in order to use it as a pot holder. Well, we're going to double it up and make it a pot holder. And it was, un, I wish I'd have kept a picture of it now as it looked. It was very shabby looking around the joins. I tried various different stitches to join it. She suggested the mattress stitch. Now, I think it does actually mention the mattress stitch in the book. Anyway, I've done it and here it is. So it is an awful lot neater. You can see some stitches, but the trouble I had was um, um, because I've I'd redone it so many times, some of the edges were quite frayed. So I, I had to pick up the stitch a little bit further in just to make sure I didn't pull it away. So I have, I have got a couple of unsightly spots, but on the whole, it is a lot more um it's easier on the eye than it was uh the back looks a bit shabby um i've i've ended up i haven't bothered um the ones in the center i haven't bothered uh, putting them in uh you know sewing them in um but i have um I've just I've just knotted them off and left them there but like I say it's just going to be like a mat for under my Christmas tree but that looks an whole lot better than it did so I'm a lot happier with that I've done two new things I did you know from the Christmas character bunting booklet that I bought to do with the bunting I haven't put them on the uh, strand yet I think I'm going to put them on that baker's twine that I bought from the range um instead of putting them on a crocheted um string so but i did i wanted to do the elf which is that one if you can see that one and 
I wanted to do the the Father Christmas and then I'm finished with it so I've, I've done those two so I'll just show you those so there's the elf I think he looks rather cute I'm, I'm, I'm happy with him and the Santa Claus I've done him now I made two changes with that one thing is it wasn't showing as putting anything around the neck even though it left you with uh, the back loops only or the front loops front loops are left are open uh, so I thought it obviously meant you to do it so I've put white because obviously you normally have a furry collar don't you when you're a Santa Claus and the other thing is he had um, his hands were in like flesh coloured well as far as I can think on most Father Christmases have uh, black gloves on so I put in black gloves on uh, it's not too neat at the top I'd sort of got the pom-pom in the wrong place but I'm still happy with it and I think it looks fine so those are, uh, are the two last items so when I get it all stringed up I'll um, I'm not putting my ornaments up yet obviously I've still got all my birthday cards out uh, but I'll um, I'll show you when I've hung them up and tell it to show you what they look like all together so I think that's me done at the moment I'm working on you know I got the mouse pattern at um, uh, when we went to black sheep walls I've, despite the fact I said it was for next year I'm actually doing it now and the other thing I'm working on is the fox for the baby um, that Stuart at Christmas um, that my friends asked me to do um, and that's the one I'm doing in the baby hand that I bought from uh, Black Sheet Walls on Wednesday so I think that's me for now I hope you're all okay I hope you're all having a good weekend the weather is appalling here today very high winds it's hardly stopped raining um, but life goes on um, I didn't go to the match today for that reason it's a, a, a I'm fast becoming a fair weather supporter. I don't I don't like going out in the horrible weather, so Nick's gone on his own. I think that's it for that. I yeah, and then tomorrow it's just church and then I'm going to uh see my cousin Brian. But that's it. So I I I hope you're all okay. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you there. We've just come to Sunnybank Mills today, <laughs> which is where they filmed The Great British Showing Bee, if you've ever seen it. And it's it's a really good place to go, although we've been uh, a bit upset that so much shops are shut, oh, aren't we? Shut, yeah. This is my friend Pearl. Hi. Hiya. <laughs> and we've just had a really good time, haven't we? We've just been in a jewellery workshop and we've been got. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, so anyway, I'll be back later. the building where they film the Great British Sewing Bee and that's the tower that you can see when they zoom in on it. <laughs> 